I got a big one. Huge. You know what I need to go with this? A fisherman's cup. Now I'm official. Let's go. What is up, guys? Oh. Excuse me, Bob. Sorry about that. What is up, guys? Today, now that I'm a real fisherman, I don't need to search and long for the approval of a so-called fisherman. Give me that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nah. So, uh, with that out of the way, these are the colors I'm gonna use. I got spring green. <laughs> Got a lagoon, because lagoon is, has to do with water. And then brilliant blue. That's just what we're gonna use. But first, we have to take this bad boy. And this image is available on my website. If you wanna go pick that up, this is gonna be the superest, easiest, raddest fisherman tumbler you have ever seen for the fishermen in your life, or maybe they're not in your life. Maybe you want them to be. This is like the easiest one to make. We all have it done in no time. Oh my gosh, with the glitter. So first thing we have to do is get this on there. And then we're gonna spray paint around and then sling some paint at it. It's gonna be fun, let's go. Now I'm gonna do is just randomly spray these three colors until I'm happy. Literally, that's it. Oh, I gotta put on my respirator, hang on. All right, let's get started. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna move my foot. Always wear your respirator. It's very important to wear the proper PPE. You wanna live, don't you? Well, duh. Don't forget your mind on. Arden Dorf Vita. Oh, that's pretty. Do it however you want, splatter it. I really like splatters. And really, I think I'm gonna go back over the blue and splatter some green there and then do the opposite for the blue. I mean green. Splatter green on blue, splatter blue on green. It's not rocket science, just paint something, who cares? Yeah. Okay, now you just sit that bad boy to the side, let it dry. All right, so now we're dry. We're gonna take off the stencil of do here. Let's take it off. All right. I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna be 100% transparent with you guys. I was just gonna fix it and move on, but then I was like, they need to know. They, they deserve to know. What am I talking about? Lots of you all the time, super huge debate whether to sand or not to sand. Well, I sand all the time, every single time. Ever since I was custom painting motorcycles, prepping and sanding the tanks, getting ready for custom airbrushing and painting, always super important to sand for good adhesion. I'm gonna show you why. This cup was already white. I bought it that way. I always get my cups that way. That way I'm, when I'm feeling creative, I take them right out of the box, set wet sand them with a 400 grit wet, you know, water and sandpaper, and then I could just move on. But for some, somehow, I was filming three videos at the same time. I don't know what I was thinking. And I just somehow forgot to prep this cup. So I just grab it and I, Lap on the old stencil and start painting. Well, I'm gonna show you why that didn't work. Because this, when I pull my stencil off, the paint surrounding it didn't have good adhesion to the cup and it pulled that off. And now, I mean, that's supposed to say fish on. What does that say? For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, that's what that says to me. Does that look like fish on? And the fish, the details all gone because the paint pulled off with it. And I debated whether I was gonna show you guys this, but you deserve to know there's a huge debate where I don't sand my cups, I don't do this. A lot of people say that, blows my mind. I don't know how they get by with it. This is how you don't get by with it. 
This is why you use sand your cups. Prep them properly, sand them, clean them. It's not that much more difficult. It doesn't take that much more time. It takes a whole lot less time than redoing this. So now what I'm gonna do is take some mineral spirits, which takes off spray paint, Let's wipe all this bad boy down. Look, I already signed the bottom. I was like, hey, I got this. I'm just going to go ahead and sign the bottom. Yeah. So mineral spirits, take this right off. I'm going to put the stencil back on. I got to go cut another one and spray it again and fix it. And it'll look like this. All right. Now, this is the way it's supposed to look. Uh, as a matter of fact, I redid this while I was talking on the video chat with my VIP group. If you're interested in that, go check out link in the description. Uh, you can read what all kinds of cool things we do. And actually, uh, any of those guys, gals in that group would be happy for you to ask them about it. They'll tell you the truth. I mean, seriously, we have a ball. It's so fun. We're so ridiculous. But now is the time to flick paint at this bad boy. We're gonna make it look like water splatters on the bottom. Nothing too crazy, just a little illusion of water with fun throwing paint at it. I'm using regular Apple Barrel acrylic Ooh, and I'm gonna put it in a cup and then flick it with a paintbrush. That's it, literally, it's, it's rocket science. I'm telling you, it's so complicated. Not really, get out of here, Ooh. what are you doing? All right, so my technique is super complicated, you dip, and then I just hold it here and go, boop, I missed. I'm trying to look through the camera. Get it on there and really let that bad boy go at it. Boom, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look, the fish just literally jumped out of the water, just like that. And you could tell by the wall back there that I love flicking paint. Something about flicking paint is just so much fun. And you just go angle it, flick it that way, flick it this way. And the best way to do it is get a big old glob. Hold it sideways and just flick it bad boy like that. And you get those long striation streaks that look just so much fun. I'm just gonna play around with this for a minute. Flick some paint at it. I'm trying, I'm looking through the camera and it's really hard to do. Make sure you get your bottom. Oh, that's a lot. He got a lot of water on that one. That's pretty cool. He jumped straight out of the water. The hook almost ripped right out of his mouth. This stuff needs, needs a little thinning out, I think. Just put a little dribble dibble of water in there. Not much, not much. You don't want this stuff runny. You're not trying to flick soup here, but you do want some, some action, some flicking action going on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I love to do that and then to make it cross like that. Boom. You see that? I love those. Those are so interesting on the tumbler. Oh, that's so fun. And as with all this other stuff that is so fun, it is really hard to make yourself stop. I want to show you is you got some of these blobbers here. They're a little thick. If you sit them up like that to dry, they're going to burn. But check this out. I'll do like this and blow them the direction I want them to. And look at that. How much cooler is that? So if you got some heavy spots, blow them and then make them go how you want to. That's awesome. I love that. I just want to show you that because I thought that was cool. So there you go. Let's go. Mm. I keep missing because I'm behind the camera here. Hold on. I'm going to have to do something else. More water, please. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Stir that bad boy up. Got a little water in there. Flick it. Oh, yeah. Flick. Flick. Oh, that's a good one. I love that one. I want more of those. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I stinking love that. Man. Mm. Mm, yes, I love those long streaky ones. Those are so awesome. Did one on the bottom. Look, that hook ripped straight out of his mouth. Look, the hook right here ripped out of his mouth. This thing's telling a story already. That is so awesome. I think I'll do a few more and then I'll call it a day. Man, I'm missing the cup. How am I missing so much? I'm hitting more of the table. Look at the table, hold on. I've got more on the table than anything. And my turner, like what's going on here? I'm supposed to be doing this to the tumbler, not to the table, but whatever. All right, I think I'm gonna call it quits and we're gonna let that dry. It's night, night time. So I'm gonna go to bed and just let this sit there and do its thing and dry. I don't, you know, that's it. Be patient, walk away so you don't touch it. Look, I got a little bit on my hand. I'm gonna go wash that off. Yeah, literally, I got more on everything than the cup, but hey, it's fun, have fun. All right, Oop. <laughs> don't look at those. Those are for later. Not today. Be looking out for them. It's a tattoo and a hunting wood grain and camo. Just throwing it out there. So the next morning, I threw on the Mate Clear A when it was dry. Two coats of that, and then 
I poopsied it. Two coats of the Illumilac Quick Coat. Boom, bada bing, baby. That finish came out so nice. Look at that, look at that fish. Man, that mug jumping out is so funny the way that a few splatters of white paint transform you like your mind does the rest of the work it is like an illusion of water that's it boom and the the color with the splatters it's just it all plays a role and just it's so simple but it's such a i'm not gonna say it's such an awesome design i mean like toot my own horn here you know but i like it and what can i say but a lot of you have been wanting this design on a video since you've seen one this video right here i don't even remember i have to look it up where I did a wood grain, I had this stencil sitting to the side and said, yeah, the next one I'll make a video. That was like a year ago, or maybe two. I don't know. Sorry. Hey, tell me a minute. You might be wondering, why not the little music and reveal thing like usual? So this cup, as well as the hunting uh, wood grain and camo one that you'll see later, I did this week because our church is having a men's banquet and they asked me to do a hunting cup and a fishing cup as a door prize, you know, for the charity and stuff. And so... I did that and that's what you got here. With that said, I did these cups for a benefit to help my church out and I'm gonna do something else as a benefit. Uh, I have a VIP group and I repainted this in the VIP group as I mentioned. And there's one lady in there who has some health issues and she's gonna have to have an MRI and after an MRI, it's gonna be $800. And I thought, I'll just throw it out there. There's gonna be a link in the description. It's the first thing on the description. And it's just going to be a donation. If you feel led to donate to help her, she has no idea I'm doing it. Well, she knows now because she's probably watching. I'm not going to say her name. Every little bit helps. And I just felt really led to do that for her. Uh, I thought it was awesome. One more thing before I let you go. Uh, I did an Instagram story this week, which is about working towards the right purposes. Like, why do you do what you do? So right after I finish this and I do the thing with I bring the fish to the, the cup to the camera, I'm going to show you. I'm going to play that story, that Instagram story. And I hope it helps somebody because, you know, I'm here to help you figure out how to make tumblers. I'm here to help you unlock your creativity i'm here to help you laugh and have a great day but i'm here to help you in all aspects of life because i've got this platform and here we are all seventy-five thousand of us thank you so much for passing seventy-five thousand. dollars 25 000 more and i have a hundred thousand i can get a play button that is insane so if you're still watching please click subscribe because by my numbers 70 percent of you are not subscribed and 30% of you are subscribed, so thank you. Help me out, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. And here we go. Maybe you're not successful because it's not your location. It's not the equipment or fancy stuff that you don't have, or it's not even the time. Maybe it's not your time. No, maybe it might be you. Are you a glory seeker? Like, do you do things for the wrong reasons? Do you criticize and complain? I really hadn't thought about this either, because I'll be like, why did this not come out the way it should? Why are my numbers down on my YouTube channel, my subscribers? my views and blah 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 and i realize i'm complaining and criticizing i am focusing we all are focusing on the wrong things and as soon as we put our mind to not worrying about what everybody else is doing and focusing on what really matters while we're doing what we do then all that other stuff will just come it'll happen baby trust me hey try it and let me know have a blessed